Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, this is a topic about the education. The title of the name is "Learning from Real" and integrated social activities and music plays for lecture-based communication education. I'm Eugene. I come from uh, Mingchuan University, uh, Department of New Media and Communication Administration. Um, this title of work is about how we model three Ds and tell the learners from the uh, college school and tell them and guide them how we construct a three D object. Uh, so everybody could learn from these photos. Uh, this is really photos and made by us. Okay, and this is a agenda of today. I'm going to introduce the. Uh, overall problem and describe the core school and also we're going to cover the teaching strategy which is a core and so of this topic and finally present the experimental design and conclusion and finally draw it for the beginning of all i'm going to show you because the 3d modeling technique is very important especially for higher education because it can model from real and also reflect the real, real object and geometries. And it plays a very important role in modern media education, especially card learning. And I'm going to show you and attach some of the reference behind the text. And also, uh, it provide, provide and promote creativity, okay? Like movie productions, film productions, game industry, or online and news. It also provides a uh, very good uh, way to construct the entire scene, okay? Like the real estate production, okay? But nowadays, we're going to use the 3D techniques and apply them into the news domain. So that the online video news and online uh, news studio can directly uh, adopt the 3D modeling and 3D geometries as background for the background movies in film and state of the original static image. Okay, okay. especially for online uh, conferencing, uh, 3D also plays very important roles, okay? But learning 3D is very, very, very difficult because it involves integrating both 2D and 3D modeling techniques, okay? So the problem is how we can learn from both and both techniques, okay? But you cannot, for beginners and the first year or freshman, it is very difficult to directly go to 3D because they didn't have never experienced about 2 days before. So it is very difficult for the following uh, process. Okay. So the main problem is pretty clear. Okay. So we need to present a uh, uh, 2D or a concept in 3D way. But for all the geometries should be projected, projected into 2D software. Okay, so you have to use your monitor, traditional monitor, instead of the uh, really 3D, and use the 2D and imagine the case of the 3D. Okay, okay. Some of the references attached before, and I didn't mention that in detail. Please refer my draft. 3D techniques uh, nowadays is very popular and uh, for over the past decades uh, by the introduction of SketchUp uh, this software used to get great attention has become one of the mainstream of the 3D geometry construction software okay? and many many courses to mention about the SketchUp okay? so uh, I'm going to introduce this uh, software because uh, it contains several properties, like it can integrate both 2D and 3D in a very easy way, okay? In comparison to like a 3D Max or a Mania, it is very easy to combine them and it pro provides a precise measurement and it also provides some pluggable software, okay? And render, the most important is the render. It can directly from SketchUp, uh, Outline, or backbone graph into the real, uh, almost reflect the real, uh, to the real photo, okay? okay. It also can in interchangeable 
Uh, the five formula is also interchangeable to many uh, theories, max of people earth, like etc. So this is a example of when we finish the model. For the uh, uh, communication college, they have to uh, construct that like that as a virtual background. Okay, so this is the case. And this is also provide another case, uh, doing from the real case. Okay? So this is also uh, a rendering image by the uh, SketchUp. Okay, so very pretty, pretty, almost too real. Okay, it's like, like this. Uh, we also um, retouching some peoples from the other graph and retouching uh, merge into this real very uh, not almost near to real food. Okay, so um, but most students they have to learn the case. Okay, so have, for example, I gave them I gave them some two D basic floor plan. They have to construct into a three D object. So this is the final go. But in Comparison to tradition CAD learning, they have to stay in the classroom. Um, one, one people, one computer, and one teacher, one computer, and one action, one instruction, and one move. So they have to follow this original and regular rule. Uh, I was, I was really, really curious about how the uh, outcome of this traditional calendar can be. So this is very, uh, should be, uh, has an upper limit. So to enhance this result, I want to uh, introduce a novel teaching strategy designed by me that combines the social activity and project-based learning in learning activity, okay? So I give them a project and the project covers some of the questions and covers some topics. They have to fulfill the topics and they have to use the uh, software to design um, uh, by following my requirement and then they have to publish online and then they have to promote other social activity like Facebook, Twitter and my blog and the project as for learning for intensive learning the fact like fake news publication okay of which publishing news for the communication student is not easy and for most people it's still difficult okay because they have to integrate pictures sources layout they have to write some draft and have some reviews and then publish the news okay so it covers a lot for example if they have to um, make some news journalism repair like the uh, real estate there is no any real real data so they have to model by them so this is a comes an example. Uh, I gave them an example. If I give you uh, if I gave you a building uh, in this street, and if one commercial uh, agent that requires to you have to construct one uh, like the Watson store in the first floor or, and cover the second floor, how we do that? So so that I gave them a question. And then they have to fill some uh, text and then they make some uh, really, really like the news, okay, news magazine or news, uh, online news. And then they have to follow this layout to make some, like the uh, MRT, okay, they have to make an RT station and make a maxi, also cover the major headache. And in this paper, I provide a teaching strategy like this. I give them a CAD lecture okay, for several weeks, and then they cover 2D processing, like uh, design and video le lecturing, tutorials, and online and offline study. I give them some homework assignment. And for offline activity, I require them, uh, you have to group in by, uh, by your best friends, and then cover them and then make some product, okay. The offline are uh, also uh, prerequisite some uh, difficult part that never mentioned in my class. I have to make some supplementary materials for them. And then finally I get the evaluation, okay. So this is a teaching strategy, okay. Uh, the detail part can mention my draft, okay. This is teamwork, okay.
they can work with two or at less, at the most, three colleagues in the workflow and doing 2D and 3D and random. Okay, they have to promote on social media like Facebook or IG. And finally, they have to presentation. Now for the presentation part, they have to make up and combine them into a compile of them into a news. And so they have to publish news online. Okay, here come some example on the uh, Facebook. Uh, for example, they have for some groups they uh, receive the questions about they have to doing some fake house, so doing fake house. For some people doing the fake MRT station, they have to fill MRT station and make them into Facebook to receive and interact with people on the Facebook. Okay, so if they doing that, they will be bad. Because they have the uh, they have to do their best on their for their friends and it's a broadcasting. It's not for individual. That's broadcasting. You have to promote to public and public your all of your related friends, classmates, and your parents or relations by yourself. So they have to do their best and promote to them. Okay. And I think this course is pretty difficult because use the software mentioned and covered by software like 2D, Photoshop, and SketchUp, and Lumion, and publish like the published software like Adobe InDesign. For the others, like if they need needs to made up like video lecturing or video authorizing, a uh, video cut, so they have to doing like a professional video authorizing tool out of video premium. Okay. And the testing subjects used in this uh, draft, I, in this paper, I prepared two different groups. One is the communication related department. Uh, amount of testing subjects, 57. Uh, for the other test like group, I prepare uh, international computer science students uh, covered by many many countries, not limited in Taiwan. Okay, there are twenty five. Okay, and I doing the same thing for uh, for the uh, traditional learning uh, for the international computer science students. They all use the traditional CAD learning, but for them, my teaching new teaching strategy combined compound uh, teaching strategy. Uh, yeah. The testing groups uh, are covered by this communication college. Okay, so the different groups, different testing case, and different testing training and learning strategy. Okay, so this is a presentation. They have to like do some uh, post uh, uh, post uh, image and post uh, video lecturing for them, and they can follow my personal uh, video. Strong website and also I post it on my YouTube, okay, YouTube channel. Okay, so uh, in class activities, very very uh, popular and they have showed the high willingness in uh, join this class and for the final presentation, they're doing good in their class. Okay, and <clears throat> finally, I'm gonna present the final testing result. Okay, the result covered by two different groups. Okay. Uh, for my testing, um, this is uh, the original main pretest after this post uh, post test and pretest and post test. Okay, they all show ba better result than before. Okay, show better result than before. Okay, so this shows my uh, in class uh, activity of this new like Facebook and news publishing project. Uh, showed better result than before. And also, I also doing significant tests. Okay, so the, you can see for the pretest there is no significant difference, but for the post different post tests uh, show before and after better. Okay, and this is it before after better. And my in my best line group, uh, my best line group covers by the uh, by the international college that show a uh, very very. Uh, similar result, even worse result than before. Okay, but it's 
uh, difference between the, my teaching strategy and baseline is very clear. So I also provide a questionnaire for the satisfactory result. It should be high better. Okay. I also attach for uh, additional result comparison to the traditional the department of interior design. Okay. And this is a course comparison to the traditional uh, interior design department. We show better result, in com very competitive result in comparison to them. Okay. Also, this is our result. Our student. Okay. This is our student show better result. Okay. Finally, I draw the conclusion. Uh, in this paper, I introduce a good, uh, not not bad result, and also I present one new. A teaching strategy which engages uh, and in rise uh, and gives them highly and enhance their uh, learning motivations to uh, 3D model. Okay, and I also provide good tests. Okay, uh, baseline and comparative teams. Okay, and show better result, positive result. Okay, so and I also find some uh, make some observations from the questionnaire. I also find. They did really uh, learn and learn to watch my online lecture, which is uh, after class. They I provide the them and I also pre record some video lecture for them. And they did and they did learn from my lecture, online lecture. So this is very important. Okay, that's it. Thank you.